welcome to Learning Mole. Today we are thinking about addition for kids and we're talking through the different steps that your child might meet as they're going through on their addition journey. We're going to think about um, some tools that they might want to use or you might want to use at home or in school um, to think about introducing addition and actually allowing children to understand it. So a tool that is a really good way of talking about addition and actually it lends itself to really any um, of the mathematical operations are puppets. Puppets are a great tool. I would tend to use puppets um, in not just to ask the children questions, they can be used for that, um, but you can actually use them to turn it on its head a bit. So for example, I would have a lot of the time my puppet would make mistakes and the children would have to actually think about what mistake the puppet has made and be able to correct that puppet. So I may have my puppet um, and if you don't have a puppet or you don't have a budget to buy one, just make one out of a sock. Um, and the children, I would encourage to make their own little sock puppets as well. Bring in an old sock, stick some eyes on there, make some wool, stick some hair on. And the children can actually have their little mathematical sock puppets that they bring out as well and talk to your puppet. So it can be a really good way um, to introduce that little interactive element and a bit of fun into maths. So I might say to the puppet, um, Right, Mr. Socky Puppet, what is three add one? What is three plus one? Um, and ask them to solve it. And they might say, um, the answer is five. And then I will ask my children with all their little Socky Puppets to tell me first of all, if it's correct. So I might ask them with their puppets to do an action like put their puppets in the air or puppets op open and close their mouths and tell me yes it's correct or no it's not. They hopefully will tell me no it's not correct and they will then start to tell me why. So you're hoping that children will start to say well the puppet has maybe um, added three plus two or the puppet has added too many or actually just to say we don't know what the puppet has done but this is how we can show you Mr Puppet that you are correct. So it's just a really good way of showing children A that it's okay to make mistakes B, that we actually learn through our mistakes and it's a really good way for you as a teacher or you as a parent to see the thought process that's going on in your child's head. So when you say, okay, the puppet has got it incorrect, why do you think that? You can see how they would then approach the calculation and see what they're actually thinking, which is really, really important and becomes very important later on as children are solving more difficult um, calculations or investigating written problems.